the Sandavo, which sounds like a really fancy word for something. But anyway, I bought this fucker randomly on Amazon in June. It is currently January. Uh, this was delivered to my old apartment in Arbroath. And now I'm here and it's time for its review. Why? Because fuck everything on that table. That all takes work. This only took about 45 minutes to an hour to assess all its fucking weirdness. Because headphone amps are easy. Except this isn't a headphone amp. This is a headphone amp and DAC with a clip indicator and pushy selector buttons that are backlit and blue. And it's really all made of solid, like, like medical equipment grade metal and it's $130. So let's uh, begin. Uh, I guess we'll look at the front first. We have a power button, which all four of these buttons are clear plastic. So when you push them in, the light, which is fucking blue, lights up behind it. Can I pop out all of them? I can pop out all of them. Um, there is a clip indicator, which we'll get to, because I have clipped these Argons. These are the Mark III Argons, just for fun. Uh, we have line in, we have USB, and we have SPDIF, Sony Philips Digital Internet Format, which is what that stands for. This is the HP DAC1 Digital Analog Converter. I guess it just happens to have a headphone out. Phone, 32 to 600 ohm, it claims. And we have a very, very nice, smooth volume wheel made out of aluminum. We've got some shown big Allen key bolts in the front, big ass feet on the bottom, and the back looks like... Well, I should have got a longer one of those. We've got a record gain function here, which I don't 100... We'll, we'll test that in a second, because I think that might have something to do with bouncing between these two. Um, no, we'll check that in a second. We've got... So, line input, RCA, output RCA, SPDIF input, fiber, then a SPDIF output and USB in, which are circled because it specifically states that you can get a fiber optic out from a USB input, but not from, so it won't pass through fiber optic. If you're inputting line in, that's it. You get analog in. If you're inputting fiber optic in, the DAC activates, but you're not getting fiber optic out. If you use USB, you'll get the fiber optic out. And you'll probably get a, uh, the output from this as well. It's got a 15 volt 0.4 amp power brick, which is, Plugged in down there to the Furman power conditioner. And uh, the two headphones I brought out to test. I, I want complete opposite spectrums. So Mark III Argon, hard as fuck to operate. And Audio-Technica ATH-80-2000X. Floaty little light babies. Um, there's also, and this is the exact same price as the IFI Zendak. So I'm just putting that out there. I don't think... This beats the IFI Zendac, but it's nice to have competition that's like at least kind of close. Because I mean, this this is who the fuck the fuck is Sandavo? No one knows that. And they built a beautiful box. Like I love hitting it with it would get a little hammer and hit it because it's just it feels like it belongs mounted in a tank, like a like an Abrams tank. Like it's heavy. But it's light enough that you could probably get away with it as far as equipment goes. And I have the x 2 xd 5 Plus here because I have the RCA outputs going into the line into this, going into the output of this, going into these to symbolize when you unplug the headphone. Of course, the music changed to something really quiet. So now... Imagine that these are your speakers and you're using RCA outputs and you can control the volume with this. And let me see what that switch in the back does if it affects that. It does not affect it. So why do you even have a sound? Like, what is that sound recording? Thing? Like, I don't, I don't, that, I, I've been just, record gain. Me, you know, it's gotta be if you feed it in a separate input and then have an output, this will, I don't know. I, I didn't go that far. I didn't. I didn't go that far to, to figure out what this record gain does. So, I apologize. I'm a bad reviewer. Enjoy your cute wallpaper. You can download that in the description. So, what I've got here is a headphone DAC amp. Now it's a little bit weird, 
And that's, I'm gonna unplug this now. I can shut this off. I can actually unplug all of this. You'll remain here because you and your little brother, the basic, are, are still like fucktacular. I don't know where I was going with that, but I ended up with fucktacular. Examples of a DAC amp portable quarter inch that I love. And you are you look like you could be related, but you're not. So move this over for a second because frankly, the Argons are just here to test if, these, if this thing can push, if it has the muscle. This is more the finesse thing. There's no high-low gain. And with easy to drive headphones or IMs, you're gonna have a mildly difficult time. Cause I get to about, it goes from there and it's loud on these headphones. On those headphones, I'm way past 12 o'clock. And to my amazement, it doesn't sound terrible. Like, I just expect a lot of things to sound like shit, and like a Sound Davo box, like what the fuck is that? Who be a Sound Davo? It doesn't sound like, it doesn't sound bad. I'm still confused as to why there are literally push buttons like an old dishwasher. My grandmother had the push buttons that were like this, where you pick the dishwasher setting and all the other buttons would pop out, and as a kid I would like push them all in to get all them out, so I could do like, like, cause right now you have to push one in to get it to come out. But if you push these other two in a little bit, then all three pop out and doesn't do jack shit. That's who I am as a person, except me. Um, so line in obviously is RCA, USB is USB. I didn't bother bringing down my laptop to test that. I won't put this laptop through installing Soundavo devices. So we're going with SPDIF, which is fiber optic. It's beautifully, like, I really like how this is built. It's oddly, like, satisfying to just have, it feels like, and you're all gonna hate me for this, but the build of this feels like what would be a prototype for a Rupert Nev device? Nev? Rupert Nev? Like, this is just exactly what I feel, like, feel like the way this is, like, painted metal with the seam, I, I don't know. That's what it reminds me of. Because the knob is way too nice for what it is. This knob, can I pull this off? It does come off. It's just a plastic shaft with a, with a, actually that's not even a full aluminum knob. You son of a bitch, I've been lied to. Still feels pretty. That means that the smoothness I'm feeling, because there's a lot of weight behind this. In fact, if we go to the, um, oh my God, that got so quiet. If we go here, it's written down here. <laughs> it literally shows like the things. And it says, it explains the optical and spit if it explains the push buttons. Volume control, like this, this is not a complicated thing. It's a volume control, right? We've all got volume control. We've all seen volume controls. Put you on there. Um, the rotary control knob allows you to change volume. Whatever device you need, it go to by turning smoothly. So I mean, not an English first language thing, or that's not true. I mean, I live in America. I talk with people in America. Grammar here is not highly ranked on people's like to-do lists. So I should probably plug this in to actually listen to something. So it's a nice, it is a nice smoothly volume knob. And it is linear too. I will say this. I'm I've I've got really easy to drive headphones here, so I shouldn't be completely yelling at it for that. It doesn't sound like asshole. When good music's playing, it sounds okay. Again, I don't think this is beating an IFI Zendac. But it's in the realm of like a FIO unit, probably like... There's soundstage, there's detail. It's, it's, it's just, it's doing its thing. It's just doing its thing. It's a headphone amp. I love headphone amps. You put three or four headphones you understand on it through, and it's got its own built-in DAC. So I'm really judging it for the DAC and headphone amp. In fact, when I had it outputting from the RCA into this, I gave that quite a bit of a listen with the Mark III's uh, because I, I know the Mark III's and I know this. So the DAC is like, okay. It's just, oh. What is this from? Best Christmas? Alad Jones walking in the air? I've heard this song before in something else. Where have I heard Alad? 
I don't know. I've heard this song. I could absolutely... It's usable. It's a completely usable sound. That's recordings. Mob Psycho. It doesn't seem to exaggerate. It doesn't have like any uh, frequency flaws. Like it's not like everything's basically off this. From the two or three headphones. I should pick up... I should pull out KPH30Is when I do these reviews. I have so many sets. I have sets upon sets over there. Ooh, that sounds nice. What is that? Subtact, J. Roger, and Mr. Fu Fiji Ouija Burden. I'm moving that to my new test folder where I keep songs that I might want to add to sound demos, but I have to run them through YouTube to see if they get content blocked or continent blocked or anything else. So they just go there. And then when I have like 10 of them, I, I assess. So once you unplug the headphones, the line outs and work in the back, we can now throw these big bastards on us. I'm going to move you to this side. Thank y'all. So now I'm at halfway, and it's not loud enough. Now... All right. In case you've never met Argons, or T50RPs in general, they um don't give a fuck how much power you think you have. Because that amp there, that's a 50 watt per channel speaker amp. And if you run these through that, it sounds amazing. Because at 50 ohms, that puts out 8 watts per channel. Which is not what this is putting out. And in fact, if you want to see that clip indicator work, which I know you all do. And it's one of my big problems. Is Hold on, I'm trying to get it dark enough. Now you should never clip an amp and you shouldn't clip headphones. But hi, I'm Zeos. I do this for you. And I, I trust the power that's coming out of this not to be enough to destroy these headphones. I'd have to literally chuck these into like an arc welder to make them damage themselves. But yeah, the clip indicator is not bright. The clip indicator feels like it's just like, like maybe I have to actually ground it out for it to come on bright. Because it is, you saw it, I hope, in the video. It's like, it's like, eh. But if I don't have like my hand covering it, you can't tell that it's 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 clipping. But it is at least indicating that it can clip. I just wish it did more. So this headphone, I can take this headphone right to like, okay, that's listenable at a roughly two o'clock. And I don't think it's clipping right now. Force of Nature, not a super bassy song. Oh, a Manchu's playing. This song will definitely get content matched, by the way, and block this video worldwide. Because fucking Sony, or Japan, or one of those two. Yeah, as soon as I go from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock, distortion. So these are not the best headphones. These are the best headphones to judge if an amplifier is powerful. But they're not the best headphones to just use and be like, oh, this is the only headphone I'm using. These I trust a little bit more to be like an everyday, every man, even though they're really easy to drive. And it doesn't sound bad. Like, this is the best, the best I can give this fucking Sundavo is it doesn't sound bad. It sounds j j good enough. For $130, I would still recommend the IFI Zendak, which is also a DAC amp combo that is only USB. This is USB and SPDIF. Does that have RCA? It's been a long time since I've played with that. That has a bass boost, by the way. That is the creamy... Cre I just review it again. I just buy another one and review it. Just every month, I have another review of the IFI Zendak. Because that's been my, like, safe space. The IFI Zendak is my safe space. Because I know if anybody needs something, and like, Zios, I bought all these headphones. Man, I'm using my onboard sound. Help me, Zios. It's like, do you have $130? Because your, your prayers have been answered. Because that's good enough to get you to, like... It's a $130, $130 combo that's good enough to get you past a $500 stack. Like, until you can afford, like, the next big step, it's it's perfect. And this is not that perfect. It's quality build, doesn't sound terrible, 
I'm not blown away by the sound on any of the things I plugged into it. I don't want to plug IMs into it. I just don't feel like it. I feel like it's too sensitive. The, the volume knob is going to go, ah. But I mean, it, it's it's quirky. And it was a head, it's a headphone amp that I've never heard of before that happened to also be a DAC that happened to have like weird like push buttons with blue lights behind it. Who doesn't want to do that? Who is not interested in pushing the oldest of old school fucking buttons? By the way, I love how the USB one sticks out further than the line in one. Yeah, that one sticks out way further. It's like loose. This one is like, that's very, very specific. But the USB one pops way out. This is a reason they stopped using these things, because they suck. Probably the contacts will get dirty, too. But yeah, will this be better than your onboard sound? 100%. 1,000%. Just don't put Argons on it. In a, in a, in a pinch, I will, I will max this out at 2 o'clock, and then I'll control the volume here, because any more on that knob is like, ah, just pull the knob right the fuck off and glue it. For a f The problem is it's a 15 volt input, but only 0.4 amp. So it's not really getting enough power to like me trust the amplifiers that are in it to do things. It's a cute little school project. It feels like a school project. That's just her. Like her shit usually works better than this. No, actually, you know what? Her shit works exactly as good as this. It works perfectly. F it works perfectly fine. If you bought the Sound Davo and you don't have Argons, you're, you're fucking set. If, if you don't concern yourself with like... Speak of the devil, Wally's on. Wait, why did I think Wally was... Is my brain speaking of the devil? Old technology? Love? Co-pilots? I don't know. I'm going on a, I'm a, I ordered Chinese food for the first time in months. Since I moved to this house, I haven't been able to find a delivery from Chinese food because I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere. It turns out all you got to do is make sure you get your app set to take over an hour to deliver it. It'd be great. It's going to be great. I have to up that tip though. I put $5.50 because I felt bad because it was like a $22 tip. I'm like, no, nah, nah, that's not how much I put. But now it's, it's such a far drive. I have to up the tip. Yeah. So I don't know what this does. Line in is obvious. Line out this, that. USB clip indicator is a little weak. The volume knob is really nice considering it's a hollow piece of it's it's metal on the outside. It's just plastic on the inside. That is exactly what this unit is. That is the entire summation. It's metal on the outside, plastic on the inside. So it works, but it isn't like it isn't a killer. It isn't. It's not an IFI Zendak killer. There would take a lot to do that. A fucking lot. A fucking lot. Like the IFI Zendak would have to disappear and the Fio K3 would have to also disappear. Because as far as like cheap, cheap DAC amp combos, there's not many I recommend. Like the, uh, the shit, shit fuller, little tiny one, I'd probably take over this just for sound quality because I think shit's got their shit together. Um, but yeah, it's a nice box. It's, and that's it. We got a wallpaper out of it. Aren't you happy? I'm happy. I didn't have to take out too many headphones. I didn't take too much fucking explaining. It's just a nice metal box. We're all done with you now. You shut you off power. I'll unplug my headphones. I'll unplug this fiber optic cable. That's good. And we'll give your power plug an empty thing. And there it is. It's just, it's just not, it doesn't, I, I enjoy it for the box. You know what? Designed in USA. That doesn't tell me where you're made, but that's probably another reason I bought it. USB 2.0 full speed compliant audio streaming controller. Wow. That is the most pretentious. Like, you can't make amp DAC combo sound more pretentious than USB 2.0 full speed compliant audio streaming controller. It's a, it's a DAC amp. It's fine. If you want to support this channel, because I bought this straight up, like no one sent this to me. If you want me to buy other weird shit like this just to try it, support this channel on Patreon and Subscribestar. Your money goes towards cat food and random shit and rent. Well, no, not rent anymore. I don't rent anything, do I? Oh God, I hate rent. Rent is the worst. Mortgages though, those are scary. Because if they don't get paid, then they just take your house away. Um, 
Five dollars a month lets you see these reviews early, participate in the yard sale, which happens from the first to the tenth of every month, free shipping content in the United States, uh, third shipping international, so you pay thirty three percent of whatever it costs to ship to your country. Uh, bidding starts at zero, so something like this is definitely going to be in the yard sale. I paid one hundred and thirty. I don't have the original box. I box it up. You live in Nebraska, and you're like, that's worth forty two dollars and eighteen cents. You bid that. If no one bids higher than you, you win. I ship it to you. You're done. You paid five dollars to get into the yard sale. You saved sixty dollars. What did I just do math on? Seventy plus dollars. You saved seventy dollars. How could you not spend the five dollars and save seventy? It's it's out of control. Ants in your eyes, Johnson. Um, for ten dollars a month, however, you can do all those things and also enter into the private behind the scenes pinky up telegram chat where uh, I basically, when I'm done with a review or about to be started with a review, those people know immediately what I think about a product. They can ask me any questions they want. They can make me take pictures. They can make me hook up setups. They're like, hey, you have this headphone and that amp, but I want to buy that headphone and that amp. How does it sound? I'll tell you. So if you want that sort of level of control over my life, fuck. It's $10 or greater. Anything higher than $10 is appreciated. I'll put it towards getting the cat dyed pink so she could be a little pink Chewbacca. Um, I probably wouldn't do that. No, stop. Stop. That's it for today. Patreon subscribers are both have the same benefits. Uh, don't forget to check out Hi-Fi Guides and the Hi-Fi Guides forums. The forums are fantastic. I'm actually might start participating, even though it's that stressful. Because once you're on a forums, people like stare at you. I feel like eyeballing you. Um, yeah, we're done. I'm done. You're good. We're good. Thank you. Good night. See you tomorrow. <laughs>